all right ephesians chapter 5 verse number 18 ephesians we're examining be filled with the spirit and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess but be filled with the spirit next verse speaking be filled with the spirit speaking be filled with the spirit speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing and making melody in your heart to the lord so we've been studying being filled with the spirit look at that ephesians chapter 5 verse 17 ephesians chapter 5 verse 17 wherefore be not unwise but understanding what the will of the lord is be not unwise so if you're not understanding what the will of the lord is you are unwise if you do not understand the will the intent the purpose the plan of god you are living in foolishness because being unwise is being foolish the spirit you must remember is a spirit believers don't have different spirits we have one spirit now you know sometimes when we read about elijah and elisha where elijah was about to leave and elisha asked for a double portion of his spirit many people keep praying for double portion of the spirit because they're ignorant they don't understand scripture the double portion of your spirit there you know and and people ask for that all the time oh i want double of your anointing and all that mm -mm. even in ministers conferences where pastors are gathered you see them crying and praying and wailing for double portion oh i want double portions see them fasting for double portion well in the old testament that word double portion is an old testament terminology used for inheritance inheritance all right the approach is this when you say double portion it's like there's a father who has 10 children and the father is about to share his inheritance to his children he will divide the property into 11 instead of 10 he will make it 10, 11 11 portions everybody will have a portion and then one portion will be left that one portion left is usually called the portion of the firstborn that one portion left is what is called a double portion because it's a portion of an inheritance for the firstborn when done he will lift that portion and you know leave it for the firstborn so it's called the portion of the firstborn and it's given to the first child the first child doesn't have a double portion of the fathers he has a double portion of what his brothers have see that it's not like i want to have a double portion of your anointing no the firstborn has a double portion of the inheritance that his other brothers have. so why did elisha ask elijah for a double portion of his spirit because there were other sons of the prophets that elisha was part of so what elisha was asking for is a double of what everybody has and then sometimes you hear some people say well you know because elisha had double portion of elijah's spirit that is why elisha did double miracles no you that's bible illiteracy there's nothing like that in the bible what the bible teaches is that prophets were weighed by their revelation of jesus prophets were weighed by their revelation of jesus not by the multiplicity of their miracles they were weighed by the revelation of jesus that is why if you find out in the new testament no mention of elijah and elisha because their ministries did not reveal jesus there's no mention the only quiet mention of elijah is james he said elias was a man of like passion he prayed that he may not rain then he prayed again and it rained that's all the mention jesus never mentioned any of them because none of them weighed and then jesus now speaking said among all that are born of women there's none that is as great as john the baptist yet john the baptist did not cure headache see that so it is not the multiplicity of miracles in a man's ministry that makes his ministry great it is the depth of his revelation of jesus because all the prophets said thus say of the lord john the baptist said behold the lamb of god so what they were prophesying john saw it and then jesus said but the least in the kingdom is greater than john because john saw what the prophets prophesied but the least in the kingdom houses what the prophets prophesied so that is why today you don't pray for elijah's anointing because elijah was praying to have what you carry you carry the greatest and that is christ in you the hope of glory i thought somebody would shout hallelujah 